After watching Bohemian Rhapsody a lot of people were curious about what happened to manager Paul Prenter, the man who had betrayed Freddie Mercury. Before meeting Freddie, Paul was a radio DJ and played in Belfast, Northern Ireland. He first met Freddie in 1975 in a bar. Paul became Freddie's manager in 1977. During this period, the two had a sexual relationship. This aspect of their associated was later supposedly used by Paul to blackmail Freddie as the singer had not officially come out of the closet. For the first five years, the relationship between Paul, Mercury, and Queen was largely fine. Things, however, started to go downhill from 1982 after the release of the band's album Hot Space. Other band members were not happy with the influence that Prenter exerted on the music of Queen. Roger Taylor and Brian May of Queen were particularly critical of the sound of the album Hot Space and blamed Paul for it. Mercury fired Prenter as his manager in 1986 and ended their relationship. In the film Bohemian Rhapsody, the firing of Paul is shown to have occurred in 1985 before the Live Aid concert. The character of Prenter in the film is essayed by Alan Leach. After getting fired, Prenter sold a story in 1987 to the Sun tabloid about the personal life of Freddie. The story had details about the singer's sexuality, including his relationship with hairdresser Jim Hutton. Paul claimed that Mercury had slept with hundreds of men and that two of Mercury's lovers had passed away due to AIDS. He also sold photos of Freddie to the tabloid. After getting fired and selling the story, Paul returned to Belfast when he spent all the money that he had received for the story and photos. He then allegedly went back to Mercury to ask for more cash. Paul died of a smoking-related AIDS complication in Belfast in 1991, a few months after the death of Mercury.